Hey beautiful people, how are you? I hope you all are doing good and welcome back to another video. Today I am back with another amazing custom room for our Redmi Note 11 as you can see here. And this one is the Rice UI and it is pretty much based on Android 13 as you can see here. And this one is the unofficial build and uh, as you can see here it's Android version is Android 13. And this room is completely stable and by the way this is the vanilla build. We have to use a, a GF zip. Uh, GFC file to install Google applications on it and by the way you can check the Rice OS version which is the 8.0 and uh, in this video I will be showing you how we can install it on our Redmi Note 11 and uh, I will also tell you if it is stable for daily usage or not. So without any further ado let's get started. So first of all let me show you how you can install it on your Redmi Note 11. First of all you need to download the uh, actual ROM and uh, the GApps zip file from the link in the description yeah. and reboot your device into an installed custom recovery. I am using the uh, latest version of uh, TWRP recovery and if you have not installed it yet then you can watch my previous video from the link in the description. So as you can see here. Uh, this is the latest build of TWRP recovery. Uh, this one is decrypted. So after going into the recovery, you have to go into the wipe. You have to do the format or you can also go into the uh, advanced. And from here, you have to select these three options. Dalvik, AR to catchy, metadata and data. Do not select the internal storage or SD card. Just swipe right from here. After swiping it, go back to home, click on install. And from here, you have to select internal storage or any storage you want to use. Uh, as you can see here, internal storage uh, is also available to use in this recovery. But I am going to use a external hard drive because I have stored all my files in this. I just have to correct it out. Then from here, we have to select it. Click on OK. And from this storage, I have to select my uh, required ROM which is the restored 8.0 just click on it flash it right from here it can take a few minutes so after getting installed go back and now you have to install the NIC GApps by the way the download link of both files is in the description you have to look at the NIC GApps here we have it sorry here we have it just flash it right from here this one is the basic GApps and this is the core edition and if you want uh, full GApps or uh, the stock GApps then the download link is in the description you can choose uh, any version you want to install so after getting installed go back to home click on advance and from here you have to select the flash current TWRP to make it permanent just flash it out after flashing it we have to reboot into the system and our ROM will be installed on our Redmi Note 11 successfully and if any uh, background noise is coming into the audio of this video then really sorry because I don't have any external microphone to use right now but in future I will fix it out so after flashing the uh, TWRP recovery just click on reboot system and you can simply unplug your external storage and after a few minutes the ROM will be booted up so this was the installation of this ROM and now let me show you if it is stable or for your uh, daily usage or not yes this rom is completely stable everything is just working fine and as you can see here the app opening speed is also pretty much smooth the animations are also played very well as you can see here and by the way in the camera here we have this simple camera pre-installed uh, but it has some of the uh, useful features from here as you can see here here we have the photo option then we have the video option right here then we have the scan option you can scan any document and you can switch to the uh, front camera you can uh, set to the flashlight zoom in and zoom out and uh, if you want more features like uh, portrait mode and night mode and all other panorama and uh, etc then you can go for a google camera from our website 925modes.com so other than that everything is just working fine like bluetooth is working wi-fi is working mobile data is working fine as you can see here lt is working perfectly and hotspot is also working as you can see here you can set up the hotspot right from here and it's it is working pretty much good without having any issue and by the way you can also use the hotspot along uh, with using the wi-fi so this is a plus point for this rom and in the home screen here we have a 
simple launcher with some settings like icon settings, home screen settings, app drive settings, recent menu settings. From here, you can enable some tweaks right from here. And in the MISC, we have some other options like you can hide and protect the applications right from here. No need to install any third party uh, protection application. Then we have about at the end. From here, you can check the about uh, of this launcher, which is the Sushi launcher and it is made uh, by Ristroid. So after the home screen, here we have widget option. From here, you can uh, add a lot of widget to your home screen. Then we have the wallpaper and style option. From here, you can change the wallpaper. By default, we get a lot of wallpapers pre-installed. As you can see here, you can use any of these. And uh, then you can change the wallpaper color. You can also get the basic colors. From here, you can enable or disable the dark theme. You can also enable the themed icons. You can change the app grid right from here. As you can see here, the themed icons looks pretty much cool on the home screen. As you can see here, it just looks perfectly. And uh, this minimal setup makes it pretty much unique. This ROM also supports the 90 Hz refresh rate. That's why it is uh, feeling pretty much smooth. And now, it will, if we talk about the application, we don't have a lot of janky applications pre-installed. As you can see here, we only get the uh, needed and only few applications pre-installed. And if you want more apps, then you can go into the Play Store and download any application you want to choose. Now let's go to the settings. By, uh, by the way, we also have the recording applications in this ROM. And uh, after going into settings, uh, it can be used with only one hand. It is designed like this. And uh, first of all, we have the owner. Uh, user profile option then we have network and internet connected devices personalizations from here you can do a lot of customizations first of all we have the about us from here you can check the uh, lock screen customizations like we also have the ambient display and always on display right from here and then we have misc in the misc we have the game space that's mean you can do gaming on this rom and uh, here we have the features of this uh, of gaming and you can also add any game to the library then we have smart pixels and you can use this feature if you want to uh, save more power it will simply reduce the power consumption reduce the pixels from the screen then we have system boot boost option it will boost the system performance then we have the unlock higher fps in games unlimited photos storage and weather settings these options are really insane then we have notifications quick settings from here you can change the battery style, battery percentage style and uh, quick setting styles and all other useful settings. Then we have status bar. From here you can change the icon settings. You can change the battery style. You can also enable or disable the uh, battery percentage. Then we have sound and vibrations. From here you can enable the vibrations for in call and here we have adaptive playback and pulse. Then we have user interface from here you can change the font style you can pick any icon pack right from here you can change the monitor settings here we have the navbar style then you can set the screen of animation you can uh, set any signal icon style system shapes wi-fi icon shape and all other customizations here we have search bar style uh, all available customizations are here so after it here we have display in the display we have all settings like previous rooms from here you can uh, adjust the size of uh, font and display then we have night light which is working fine then we have light display you can change the color profile right from here and here we have peak refresh rate you can set it to 90 hertz if you want the smoother experience minimum refresh rate smooth display display cutout tap to wake uh, let's check if it is working yes it is working look at the lock screen uh, clock it just looks pretty much insane and uh, then we have wallpaper and style i have already told you about this feature then we have notification battery battery performance of this room is also pretty much good from here you can check the uh, battery usage then we have daily battery user chart you can enable the battery saver and we have all other options like battery capacity and you can also note the battery temperature the battery backup of this room is also pretty much good then we have storage sound and vibration and here we don't have any sound enhancer but we have the dolby atmos pre-installed right here as you can see here this one is also a plus point then we have accessibility security on the security we have all security options and all of them are working like as you can see here we have the screen locks 
face unlock and fingerprint uh, yes first look is also working and it is present in this room by the way you can use it along with the fingerprint so every security option is just working fine then we have privacy location safety emergency google system in the system we have languages and input button settings then we have live translation system profile gestures in the gesture we have double tap uh, to sleep or check and then we have swipe three finger screenshot quickly open camera system navigation bar one handed mode which is working pretty much fine you can simply operate the whole screen by using only one hand so then we have press and hold power button prevent ringing then we have system profiles uh, gesture date and time backup updater rules multiple users reset options and at the end we have the about phone from here you can check the rice ui and uh, you can check its version which is the rice ui 8.0 and it is based on android 13 as you can see here android version is 13 and security patch is also latest so this was the review and installation video of restroid for our redmi note 11 so the rom is pretty much stable you can use it as your daily driver no need to worry about the issues everything is just working fine and smoothly as you can see here and uh, if you find this video any helpful, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. You can also join us on the Telegram. The Telegram group and channel link is in the description. Keep supporting. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.